guys are here today i'm doing the eureka math grade 5 module 2 lesson 5 homework so let's get started draw an area model and then solve using the standard algorithm use arrows to match the partial products from the area model to the partial product and the algorithm so let's do our area model 24 times 21 So 24, we have to split it up into 20 and 4. And it's very important that you set it up like this, not 24. You have to set it up like 24. And now for 21, we split this in half. And it goes 21. So now we multiply. So for this box, we have 1 times 20, and that is 20. And here we have 1 times 4, and that is 4. 20 times 20, well, 2 times 2 is 4, and add the zeros. And 20 times 4 is 8, and add the zero. All right, so now let's do our standard algorithm. 24 times 21. Let's look at the 1 first. 4 times 1 is 4, and 2 times 1 is 2. So here, first, we have 24. So if you look here, our first um, row here, 20 plus 4 is 24. We can run that here, 20 plus 4 is 24. And we can do arrows to match the products. 24, if you match it, draw the arrows, 24 is equal to 24. Now let's look at 20, the 2. So that is 210, so we add a 0 at the end. 4 times 2 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. Now let's look at our second row. We have 400 plus 80. That's 480. So let's draw our arrows. They match. So now let's add 4 plus 0 is 4. 2 plus 8 is 10. And 4 plus 1 is 5. So 504. And if we did add 480 and 24 from this, we also get 504. 24 times 21 is 504. Alright, B. 242 times 21. So our area model. To set it up. So we're dividing it into 3 because 242 has 3 digits. So it would look like 242. And now 21 has 2, so we only split it in half. Now we have 21. So this is how we have to set it up. 1 times 200 is 200. That's 40, and that's 2. 20 times 200. 2 times 2 is 4, and add the zeros. 2 times 4 is 8, add the zeros. 2 times 2 is 4, and add 1 zero. So now let's do the standard algorithm. 2 times 1 is 2, 4 times 1 is 4, and 2 times 1 is 2. And we add these numbers here, 242. That's 242, so let's draw our arrows. So this is the same as 242. Now let's look at our second row, add a 0. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and 2 times 2 is 4. So we add these numbers up together, we have 4,840. That's the same as this number over here. So let's add our total. 2 plus 0 is 2. 4 plus 4 is 8. 2 plus 8 is 10. And 4 plus 1 is 5. So that's the answer we would get. 5,082. For number 2, solve using the standard algorithm. 314 times 22. Four times, let's look at this two first. Four times two is eight. One times two is two. And three times two is six. All right, so now we look at the next two, the 20. Very important to remember to add a zero at the end. We move on to the next one. Four times two is eight. One times two is two. And three times two is six. So now let's add. We have 8, 10, 9, 6. Our answer is 6,908. Let's look at B now. 413 
times 22. 3 times 2 is 6. 1 times 2 is 2. And 4 times 2 is 8. Now let's add our 0. 3 times 2 is 6. 1 times 2 is 2. And 4 times 2 is 8. So let's add. 6 plus 0 is 6. 2 plus 6 is 8. And 8 plus 2 is 10. And 8 plus 1 would be 9. So our answer is 9,086. All right, and now let's look at C. We have 213 times 32. So let's look at this two first. Three times two is six. One times two is two. And two times two is four. Now add a zero. Three times three is nine. One times three is three. And two times three is six. If we add it together, our answer is six. 4 plus 3 plus 1 is 8, 6. So 6,816. All right, next page. Number 3, a young snake measures 0 0.23 meters long. During the course of his lifetime, he will grow to be 13 times his current length. What will his length be when he is full grown? 0 0.23 times 13. Let's do a standard algorithm. Alright, so 3 times 3 is 9, and 2 times 3 is 6. Now add a 0, 3 times 1 is 3, and 2 times 1 is 2. So if we add it together, our answer is 9, 9, 2. Uh, 299. But notice how 0 0.23, so where do we put our decimal point? Well, notice how 0 0.23 is 23 hundredths. And 13 is 13 ones. So we multiply hundredths by ones, Whatever number we're multiplying by 1, our answer will like be that other number. So in this case, hundredths times 1, our answer will be hundredths, which means 299, 299 hundredths, our decimal point. Also, if we bring it down from here, it would drop to here. So 2.99 meters. That means he will be 2.9 nine meters long. All right, number four. Zenon earns $142 per shift at his new job. During a pay period, he works 12 shifts. What would his pay be for that period? 142 times 12. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. And 1 times 2 is 2. Now add a 0. 2 times 1 is 2. 4 times 1 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1. Let's add. 4 plus 0 is 4. 8 plus 2 is 10. 2 plus 4 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. And 1 is just 1. 1,704. I mean, Zenon. would earn $1,704. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps, and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.